Bring it back to the basics. If you accept too many ideas in, you'll get paralyzed and you'll miss the basics. All right, welcome to the episode of How to Start an Agency. Today, I'm here with Alec. Alec, please introduce yourself to the audience here. Hey everybody, I'm Alec Newmeyer. I'm based at Austin, Texas. I work with uh, home service companies, specifically uh, fence and deck contractors, mostly across the US. I love that. How'd you pick that particular niche? Well, uh, it was kind of a funny story. I, I sort of gravitated towards, um, I was a dirty backpacker for years. Uh, I traveled for a long time and went all over the world and um, eventually realized I should probably get a job. And so I, I worked in big tech helping construction companies. And eventually that star sort of faded as I started feeling like I wanted to do something a little more entrepreneurial. And um, I decided to start uh, local search and ranking. And I worked with the people that I knew best, which were construction companies and, you know, that blue collar work ethic. So love that. Love it. So how did you actually start learning SEO then? Well, I was in, I was in big tech and I would get, you know, I was in sales and I would get sales commissions and I started just spending them on courses to learn. So I spent a bunch of money just, uh, and a lot of free time, just trying to learn and trying to rank my own sites and trying to get things to move and figure out how the pattern worked. And once my confidence went up, I started uh, taking on other clients. Love that. Okay. Let's, let's take us back to that aha moment. So you got that, you got, I mean, you, you figured out you want to become an entrepreneur. Yeah. I mean, was there, and did you go, did you start using Search Atlas right away? Or did you, what tools were you using back then when you first started? Uh, I don't even know if Search Atlas was around. Um, I was using, I mean, I was using ARES for a lot of it. A lot of spreadsheets, just like an ungodly number of spreadsheets. This whole thing with like, uh, like, uh, like uh, putting entities and finding entities for concepts and putting it into the content. That wasn't an idea that I was trained on at the time. Yes. So six, seven years ago. So it was mostly AREFs. So it was writing content. It was, yeah, it was writing content and finding backlinks. And that was the majority of my strategy. Love it. Love it. So did you actually start doing um, actually like you know, more of the Google business optimization and local SEO? Or are you doing a combination of both for your clients now? Like how is that working for you? Yeah, today I'm doing both. Uh, today we do, because I'm niche down, I offer multiple revenue streams for them. So we have a paid ad segment of our business as well, which includes local service ads, Facebook ads, Google ads. The core of what I feel the most comfortable in because of my experience is certainly the Google Maps and uh, the organic website. Love that. Love that. I actually found out that Search Atlas is actually integrating um, search ads or paid search um optimizations within the platform itself so i'm really really excited about that too. yeah me too i uh i do not enjoy ad groups that's for sure <laughs> well, exactly exactly i feel you i feel you so i mean a little, a little bit about what i'm doing too because i mean i am a consultant i do want to expand to the agency so that's why i'm interviewing other agency owners so kind of get some tips uh, on the way there so like sure you know me as a consultant i'm curious what are the maybe like a few things that you would tell me you know if i want to ex expand and you know start start my own agency um Let's see. And assuming you're a complete beginner, you've just been hearing things, we're well, playing with it. I'm a consultant. I'm a consultant. So like, Consult. I do have okay. clients, but I do want to scale. Like I, I want, I want by 2025, I want to like really like triple my business, at least triple my clients of what I have now. One of the things that throws a lot of agency owners off today is that there are too many cooks in the kitchen. There's too many gurus. There's too many people saying that they know what makes the algorithm move and they push their ideas on you. And it's sort of like whichever one you were exposed to last is the one you feel like you should be putting your attention on. So the two things that I did to regulate that in my own agency and have really helped me scale and show better results is one, bring it back to the basics. If an idea can't be explained simply and it's too complicated or it's not based on, they're telling you all these things, but they're not showing you where the idea came from or showing you how they're implementing it and the results, push it to the side. Not to say that it doesn't have value, but it shouldn't have, it shouldn't be one of the foundational items you push in your package. There are basics. There are basic things that we know move the needle. And I think if you push on those, especially with local search, if you get the basics in, you're gonna outrank most, in most markets most of the time. Now that said, the second thing that I've done that's successful is I've kept some sites for myself that I own and I have hours allocated to certain employees each month specifically to go mess with stuff. Like I hear something on YouTube, I hear something in a podcast, I hear something from some somewhere and I just write it down and I say, hey, like this sounded interesting. Like let's, on one of the sites that we own, not a client site, one of the sites that we own, go do this a hundred times. 
We'll, we'll keep doing this for three months and let's see if it moves the needle. And one of the things I like about Search Atlas is they do something similar. They have a budget of time and people that they dedicate towards R&D, which is why I trust them so much because they're always testing things like, oh, I heard this works. Like 15 people told me this works. So they go, okay, cool. Let's test. Let's see if we're going to stop everything and we're going to test this one thing. And if it moves the needle, then we're going to bake it into auto and everyone can do it automatically. We don't have to, no one else has to do this work, yeah. which I love. So in my own agency, I have my own sites that we do tests on and we try to do single factor tests. And I think that's really the only way if you accept too many ideas in, you'll get paralyzed and you'll miss the basics. So it's important to have not only stop gaps, but resources set aside to do those kinds of tests. Got it. I know you mentioned you, you, you niche down and so I'm curious, like, how are you getting like leads to like increase your, your business or like, and a prospect? Yeah. Yeah. Great question. So the way that we're doing it today, we actually played with how to get leads We've been playing with it for a while, and I wouldn't say we necessarily mastered it. It comes it certainly comes in waves, but um, we've been having some success with uh, with Facebook ads, like super targeted Facebook ads. We got a good list that we've been targeting. We we're always trying to provide more value, and we're always we try to be really transparent with anyone who works with us. So um, we have like lead magnets that we give away that are pretty good, pretty valuable. Um, for anyone who wants to try to do it themselves. One of the things I notice a lot of agencies do, which is they 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 stop gap information um, because they worry that people just go around them and do it themselves. Or, you know, I've noticed this with consultants too. They won't give you the goods until you've paid them. And so my sales tactic that's worked well for me and also just takes burden off my back yeah. is I just give them all the information. I just say, well, here's what you should do. And I give them basics. And I say, and if you were really good, you would do this. And you know, if you wanted to, you could also do this. And if you don't want to do that, you can hire me. <laughs> hey, yeah, exactly. Just lay it out. So our lead magnets are structured the same. Like we tell them how to do it because um, if if they apply what's in the lead magnet and they start seeing improvements, then you're a trusted source. Yeah. And you're a trusted source. And it's going to pay dividends eventually, whether it's through clients or whether it's through, you know, they may hire you, they may not. But I think it's a lot better to just... um. I think the world today, there's a democratic, a democratic exchange of information and contributing to that. People can pick up. If you're not contributing these days, you are becoming the outlier. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, at the same time, I feel like also agency, I'm not agency owners, but business owners will see like how much work it goes into it, how much time it does take. Yeah. So they're like, okay, you know what? I, 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 was, I know this works since you even showed me how to do it, but you, your team could do it and let's scale faster. Like, let's, let's go faster. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, that was like one of the bigger lessons I learned from my first clients that churned. Like, they all just think you're not doing anything or they don't, yeah. like, I could do that. ChatGPT came out and suddenly I had clients asking like, well, what? I could just make an article. And I'm like, well, I mean, try, first of all, try it. It's horrible what comes out of ChatGPT if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, um, yeah. But one of the things we implemented is um, weekly and monthly updates to every customer. And that's been really successful for us because um, so every Friday, it's very informal, but every Friday we send out an email, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we send out an email that just tells them like, hey, here's what we worked on your site this week. This is what we were doing. And I just give them a quick summary. And then on, in month to month, I give them like the reports, but oh. just quickly just fire off a communication. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great tip right there. I mean, communication is key too, because I mean, I feel like also even with my own clients, I mean, when it gets consult, when I'm a consultant, I'm more become a part of the, the marketing team of the companies I'm on and stuff like that, because so I'm very, very into like in all the meetings. However, but when, when you're not a part of any of their internal meetings or anything like that, setting that communication is key. Like, and, and I never thought about that too. I was like, oh, okay. That is, let them know what you're doing and then they'll leave you alone. Yeah. Yeah. Then they don't need as many meetings. Yeah, see. exactly. I love that. And, and so when it comes to Search Atlas, I'm curious. So yeah, back then you're using Ahrefs and a bunch of spreadsheets, and now now you're using Search Atlas. I'm curious, like, what part of Search Atlas um, do you really use? Probably utilize the most. I'm curious, like, how? Yeah. Okay. Well, I started with Ahrefs, and then I grew this huge tech stack, like, because okay. then I started wanting to build like semantically optimized content, and I had tools for interlinking, and I had tools for audits, and I had tools for, I built an entire CRM just for getting backlinks to find, scrape, outreach, automated, and like source backlinks. This whole thing, like 
you know, hundreds and thousands of like a, a whole catalog that I could have a VA run. So I built this whole, like this giant thing. And then I see Search Atlas. And, and at that time, it still felt like, well, people said this was right. And this seems to work most of the time. So, you know, just I would just throw everything I had at every customer to see what would work. And then I met Monik. And he was very like, oh, well, the patents say this. And if you make these changes, there's this. And then we did these tests. And it said, and it showed this, which is what we expected. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, just like, yeah, it's sort of like, uh, you know, someone shaking and the sand is sifting to the bottom and finding its place. And it's like, okay, cool. That was really nice. And then he did that over and over again. So yeah. I've gotten rid of most of my tools. Um, that. I've gotten rid of most of my tools. There's still tools that I have that I, that the updates coming up are going to get rid of for me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but I've also gotten rid of, um, yeah, I've gotten, what's what's even nicer is not just that I've gotten rid of tools, but um, when I'm training a new employee, it's all, I train every employee in the same tool, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. You know, my content writers, I train them in Search Atlas. My web designers, I'm training them in Search Atlas. Uh, my SEO leads, I'm training in Search Atlas. My VA, I'm training her in Search Atlas. She needs to know how to do basic things. So mm -hmm. I'm using it for, I'm not using it for a hundred percent, but I got rid of, uh, I got rid of a refs. I got rid of, um, I was pulling in tools to help me like mass send emails. We can get rid of those. I could get rid of, um, a lot of backlink providers. I get rid of those. Um, I could get rid of, um, GMB management tools and oh, editing yeah. GMBs. Too, yeah. Um, I paid for a specific course for, for cloud stacks. I had a VA trained to make me cloud stacks and it, got rid of that. Button, right. <laughs> Press the button and it's done. I press the button. Yeah. I mean, we're making some edits now. Like we're trying to get a little fancy with it, but yeah, but yeah, we got rid of that. Got rid of, um, um, what else did I get rid of? I got rid of this huge, like I didn't completely get rid of it, but I had like a 12 or 15 tab SEO workbook to just track like what on page changes we needed to make and the state of the state of, you know, X before I touched it and, and after what it looks like. And, with auto now like that huge task of filling that all out is now just like optimize 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 yeah <laughs> optimize 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 so i love seeing the little there's a little time there's a little widget in the top right that says how many days and hours you've saved exactly I'm, I'm, what's the most on yours what's the most? probably like 45 days oh man no way that can't yeah. be right it has to be more than that because I have I have one that has over six hundred days saved. If I optimized, <laughs> I was like, "Wow, I worked for this this company, this company for two over two years." <laughs> you know, it's like within months. Yeah, it's ma it's making things so much easier. So my budget there's flying up. Yeah, I love that. So I, when it comes to like, I'm I'm curious because you mentioned like you have you have a whole team and yeah, it's a team that get your uh, your team onboard on certain things. You train one tool. I, I'm curious how big is your team and I mean mm -hmm. and how, um, how long have just your agency been around? Just so I'm like getting a feel like you know how much I have to do my agency. <laughs> uh, so I've been in local search for about six years and okay. my recent, my niche down agency in fences and decks has been since December of last year. So a year. Okay. Um, we have seven. Wow. So within, within, within the past year, you hired like seven people to help you out with, with all your clients. Yes. And I will clarify too, though. I will clarify. So what I did in this last year was I had certain packages, like, you know, you could choose package A, B, or C. And then I realized that with auto, I could deliver way more. So I changed my packages and now we deliver twice as much as we did before for the same price. So, and my VAs are very happy because I was like, hey guys, you want more hours? <laughs> Everybody want to work more, you know, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. so, um, and then, you know, it's just, it, it's my exchange. What I'm able to exchange for the same price is so much higher because of auto, because I can do you know, months worth of on-page optimizations very quickly. If they're seeing a, I had a client sign up recently, they were seeing a dip in traffic and they couldn't figure out why. And so first thing I did is I signed them up for auto and I did a bunch of optimizations and I don't even think I fixed, I haven't fixed the core problem yet, but everything is up again. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's a cool thing about auto when you, especially when you deploy things, I, um, there's a time where you can see, if you line up all my sites with it, when at same date, when I actually employed it, you can see the time when I hit auto, it's like, boop, it just, that nice little hockey stick starts. Yeah. It's a, it's, it trips up, just me out. I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, just for those, for those that are going to start agencies and will need help and looking, maybe looking to, um, virtual assistants, like, have you gone through, uh, 
multiple book your assistants to get to the seven or were you lucky to hire great seven people the very first time but you're like what are some things that you're looking for when you're actually hiring a virtual assistant i guess the system i built was built on trial and error i, I definitely made some silly hires and you know there's uh, there's some people who maybe over promise they put some things on the resume that aren't totally true which is huh. no fault to them i've been there before um no what's worked for me you know i've simplified my hiring process greatly um I essentially, I, I interview someone. If they say they can do something, that's great. I give them a small test that takes less than 10 minutes based on their role. Um, if the results come back, you know, perfect or pretty close, then I say, okay, cool. Like, let's do a two-week paid trial. Um, I have got the impression from certain people that, you know, being on the other side of that process, trying to get hired is also difficult. And sometimes, you know, agencies just won't give someone a, a chance if they already don't have the experience. And... Um, I think a lot of this stuff is very, very easy to learn, especially if you have good tools and processes. And Search Atlas makes that pretty easy because it's like, click this button, like here's the keywords, fit them in, you know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, so it's, here's the checklist. So yeah, I do a two-week pay trial, and then if if it works out, it works. Yeah, great tip right there, great right tip right there. Okay, so when it comes to Search Atlas, uh, I'm curious about some of the successes you had for your clients because you did mention like you did save a lot of time, but you know, what were some of the successes that you've seen for like your clients has has your traffic like 10x, 3x, or you know, you've seen them they they came back to you like, oh my god, we're getting a lot more leads or anything like. So what are some like like uh, metrics that you could share like that possibly like. Atlas. Biggest thing I've seen with clients is that, especially clients who have been burned before by agencies, is that when they sign with me, they they see results super fast. So they say, "Hey, yeah, the phone is the phone is demonstrably ringing more now working with you than with these other ones." So since I built my whole agency on this like transparency, you're gonna know what happens next. You're gonna know what I'm working on for them to pretty quickly see results better than what I promised. Because I'm not promising them that they're gonna see more calls in the first three weeks. But if I can get auto deployed in the first three days, they usually see an uptick in the first three weeks. Um, whether it be, I've seen changes on Google Maps. I've seen changes on, of course, on the website where they rank for more keywords or they're getting more calls. But the biggest, the biggest pattern has been, hey, we're getting more phone calls. We're getting more contact form submissions since you started taking over our website and our Google Maps profile. Love that. Love that. So when it comes to like, let's say, what's one skill you think like uh, an agency owner should I have when they went starting their oil agency. Get very good at creating, um, I call them hats. Get very good at creating hats. So what I mean by that is uh, things like, um, here's exactly how to do something. Here's a video of me doing that thing. Here's a checklist that I'm going to use that tells you, which, which here's the checklist I'm going to use that to determine if you did a good job or not and have that all tied into the training material. So if you can create these hats, like for a content writer, you don't want to just send them in there, especially if they don't have SEO experience, or even if they do, the experience can be all over the place. So you say, okay, cool. You're writing a blog. Here's what I want the blog to look like. Here's me writing a blog in Search Atlas so you can see the process live. Here's the edits that I'm making. And here's the checklist. Oh, I forgot this. I forgot this. Let's add it in. And then I send all of that and I say, hey, you know, you know, thanks for signing on and agreeing to do this blog for me. Here's the, here's the topic for the blog. Here's the video on how to do it. Go ahead and do it. Here's the checklist I'm going to use and uh, send it to me when you're done and just let them, let them rip on it. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and starting your own agency. You're welcome. And I am, you know, hopefully, you know, I'm going to take some of this and then um, go hard in 2025. So like for those that want to you know, get a hold of you and get started on, on possibly getting them to help you have find more leads and defense the niche, niche, like how can mm. they get a hold of you? Yeah, we uh, so the easiest way to reach me, you can reach me uh, on our website, securelinemarketing.com. You can email me, alec at securelinemarketing.com. Um, we work with all kinds of home service companies, actually work with a chain of animal hospitals at the moment too. So um, so if you have any questions or tips or want to reach out to someone for uh, you know, a Zoom or something, just send me an email. Love it. Love you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.